All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to dive into something really exciting. Google just released the Gemini CLI, an open source AI agent that you can run directly in your terminal. As you can see from their announcement, it's free, open source, and promises some powerful capabilities. They're offering a pretty generous free tier with 60 requests per minute and 1,000 per day. That's fantastic. So today, I want to put it to the test. I'm going to try and use the Gemini CLI to set up and run a A2A sample project. Then we'll do the same thing with Anthropic's Claude code and see how they compare. Let's get started. Okay, first up, let's install the Gemini CLI using the MPX command from their GitHub. It's asking to install. I'll say yes, and we get this really cool Gemini welcome screen. After selecting a theme and logging in with my Google account, we're ready to go. First, let's check out what we're working with. You can use backslash commands to get information. I'll type uh, about. Okay, so we can see it's using the Gemini 2.5 Pro model by default. That's great. That's the powerful one we want. Now for the real test. All right, let's get the Gemini 2.5 Pro model running. Okay, I'm now in a new terminal window. Let's have Gemini read this MD file for us to understand how to run the sample agent. I'll drag the file path into the prompt and ask it to follow this to run the agent. Okay, it's analyzing the file. First, it identifies a discrepancy. It says path provided was samples Python agents a ad k expense reimbursement. I will use the latter. That's smart. It then decides to change the directory. I'll allow the execution. Next, it sees the step to create an NV file but skips it, noting it doesn't have an API key. I've already set this up, so that's fine. Then it tries to run the agent with of run, but it hits an error. Directory cannot be absolute. The agent correctly diagnoses the problem. I have to use a relative path. I will correct the command. So it tries again just using of run. I'll choose yes to streamline the process. Great. Now it's running the command in the terminal, installing all the necessary packages like Pydantic Core, Asclokami, and Google AdK. It seems to be working. Oh, we have another error. It looks like the port 1002 is already in use. The agent catches this immediately and says, it seems the port 1002 is already in use. I will try to run the agent on a different port. I'll use port 1003. Excellent problem solving. Let's allow that. The server process has started on port 138889. Now, that took a very long time to get started. While that's running, I've opened another Gemini instance in a new terminal. I'm going to ask it to check on the first process, which seems to be hanging. The agent suggests it appears the command is still running. This is likely because it has started a server in the foreground. I will check the process list to confirm that the server is running. After assessing the situation, it confirms the agent is running and will now, it determines it needs to run the client in this separate terminal connecting to the agent on port 1003. Let's run that. Okay. It appears the client is now waiting for input. Can you reimburse me 20 hours hour for my lunch with the clients? After trying that, it fails. The agent analyzes the client's pipe project, Tomo. Here's the new plan to fix this. I will send a new line character. 
after the message to simulate pressing enter for the file path prompt. The agent suggests the process might be crashing and decides to investigate the agent's main source file. As it's doing this, it detects a slow response time and automatically switches from Gemini 2.5 Pro to Gemini 2.5 Flash for faster responses. That's a really neat feature, but I want to use the Pro model. I'll quit this session and start a new one to see what's going on. You can see that the model for this CLI is now set to Gemini 2.5 Flash. But what if I want to force the use of the Pro model? I can do that by explicitly setting it when I start the agent. I'll type Gemini MM Gemini 2.5 Pro. Now, if you look at the bottom right, you can see we're back on the Gemini 2.5 Pro model. All right, that was a good attempt by Gemini, but we're stuck. Let's see how Cloud Code handles the exact same scenario. I've been using it for my personal projects and I feel it's really helpful. However, it's not free. To use it, you either need a Claude Pro subscription or use your Anthropic API keys. I'll go back to the Claude Code website, copy the installation command and run it in the terminal. Okay, it's installed. Now I'll just type clogged into my Anthropic account. It's going to uh, open a browser window to authorize the connection. All right, login was successful. Now let's check which model I'm using. I'll type the model. As you can see, I have access to Sonnet 4, which is included in the pro plan. Now. Let's get to the main task. I'm going to ask Claude to do the same thing I did with the other tool. Run the expense reimbursement agent from the sample repository. Okay, it's exploring. It says, I'll read the right e file and help you run the agent dash. It has read the file and created a to do list. It's not just trying to run a command uh, blindly. It's created a logical plan. It's now creating the NV file with a placeholder. That's really nice and clear. Now I'll go into the NV file it created and paste my API key. Don't worry, I'll delete this key later. Okay, it tried to run the agent and we have an error. The agent failed because the port is in use. This is the exact same problem we saw with Gemini. It instantly diagnosed the port conflict and is now trying again on a different port. This is proactive debugging. Great, the agent is now running on port 1003. Now it says I need to run the A2A client in a separate terminal. Okay. We have another error, this time a network communication issue. This is my favorite part of Vibe Coding. I don't need to try and decipher this myself. I'll just copy the entire error trace back and paste it right back to Claude. This is incredible. It figured out the problem wasn't the network, but a type hinting bug in the Python source code itself. It's even showing me the exact diff of the code it wants to change. Add has updated agent, pi. Now it needs to update the function logic to handle empty strings instead of none. It's fixing another part of the code now. It says the agent is now running properly. The, now it gives me the final command to try the client again and it works. Perfect. The agent is running and now it's asking for the missing transaction details, which is exactly what the sample is designed to do. So what's the takeaway from this test? Gemini CLI is definitely promising. 
it correctly identified the initial steps from the REDME and attempted to execute them. However, when it ran into environmental issues like the port conflict and model downgrades, it got stuck and couldn't find a path forward on its own. Claude Code, on the other hand, acted like a true pair programmer. It not only created a clear plan, but also diagnosed the port conflict, found a bug in the source code, and fixed it. That ability to reason, plan, and self-correct is what made the difference in solving this complex task. No, to be fair, the A2A sample repository does have a number of open issues, so it's a challenging test case. I'll definitely keep an eye on both of these tools. Once the A2A samples are more stable, I promise I'll be back with a full deep dive video on that protocol. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.